Well, I'm down here at the place that I named Chevy Narrows. He's up here on the bank. There's a 58 wagon. It's a Chrysler. And right behind me here is the remnants of a 51 Ford. But there's no Chevy, so I call it Chevy Narrows. I'm going to work a few pans here. And uh, we'll see what I get. Eh? It's a beautiful day, 20, 22 degrees. Uh, <coughs> filtered sunshine. <coughs> yep. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do a few pans here, and we'll see what we get. So uh, usually over in this area, it's pretty good for bigger flake. Anywhere down in through here is good for bigger flake. I haven't been here. I think in about. Well, two and a half, three years since I've done a pan down here, and the fishing in this spot is really good. You're looking 18 inch trout every single cast. Yep. This is a beautiful spot on the Thompson River, Ashcroft, British Columbia. Well, there's pan number one. I'm going to get started right now, right down there. I don't know how many I'll be able to do today. I'm just getting my health back after going through that damn virus that's going around and nearly killed me. So, I'll do this pan. We'll see what we get in here. And I'm going to do as many as I can today. I only have two hours that I can... Well, I have an hour and a half I can work here. And then I have the half an hour walk back that way towards town. So I can meet my ride home. Yeah. Well, let's see what we get. Okay. I did one pan from over by the car got nothing. I did one pan by the big rock, got nothing. One pan off the beach, got nothing. Not even much black sand in here. This place used to be great for gold. This used to all be huge big car sized boulders in here. The last two floods here have really changed everything. <coughs> 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 Yeah, I'm still coughing. So, you know, that flood came down here or something. Mixed in with this. And just swirly everything just went that way. I guess all into the deeper water. <coughs> I know they had an excavator down that one. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. That last virus is a doozy. Don't get it. 20 days I was laid up with it. But it's beautiful out now. I'm down here and I'm like this. I only got one message for everybody. Please, people, take your trash home. The, who even drinks Coors beer? Isn't that as bad as Foster's? I think so. Yeah. So. I got one more pan loaded up that I got from behind this big rock here. Yeah. I'm going to work that pan. And if I don't get nothing in that pan, fuck it, I'm going to go get a beer and wait for my ride. I have to walk two kilometers that way. We'll see you in a bit. Wish me luck on this one. Well, it's starting to get super windy here. Now, this place has changed so much over the past four years. And a lot, too many people have come out here so much. Um, it, it's the demise of Chevy Narrows. In four pounds, I, four pounds, I didn't find any gold. One little fleck from over there, and that's about it. So... Chevy Narrows, uh, I'm not panning here again, it used to be great, now there's nothing here, oh well, maybe down in there might be better, or maybe up over there might be better, you know,
way over there. But as far as over here, three, four years ago, we were finding flakes in here as big as your baby fingernail. And now there's nothing. So I got some sunshine today. I had a nice hike in here. I got a nice hike back. The birds are singing beautiful. The scenery is wonderful. I'm going to head back and get a cold beer now. Everybody have a good day. My next adventures will be a little bit more epic. But this is a bit of history for me in here. This is Chevy Narrows. I named this place years ago. Years and years ago. And, uh, well, it's sad that I won't be coming back here. The demise of Chevy Narrows. John Fair's Gold Panning School is now open. Come on out. Let's go panning.